Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Nev, and welcome back to our general math tutorials. In the previous lesson, we introduced stocks and bonds. This time, we will focus our discussion on the market indices for stocks and bonds. A stock market index is a measure for a certain segment of the stock market. The PSE Composite Index, or PSEI, is one such example. Other indices include sector indices or sector indices which each reflect a specific industry such as financial institutions, industrial corporations, holding firms, service corporations, and mining or oil property. The stock index can serve as a standard by which investors can assess the success of their investments. Stock indices are reported in the business section of magazines or newspapers as well as online. Beside me is a simple list of index values. VAL or VAL is the index value. CHG is the change from the previous trading day's index value to the current trading day's index value. That is, Today's value less yesterday's value. Percent CHG is the ratio of CHG to VAL or to VAL. That is CHG divided by VAL. In addition, the table beside me illustrates how stock information can be presented. 52-week, high or low, or 52-WKHI-LO represents the stock's highest or lowest selling price in the previous 52 weeks. Example 1. During the previous 52 weeks, the highest price at which BBB stock traded was 85 pesos. Example 2. During the previous 52 weeks, the lowest price at which AAA stock traded was 39 pesos. HI slash LO or high or low is the stock's highest or lowest selling price from the previous trading day. Example 3. The last trading day's highest selling price for AAA stock was 58 pesos. Example 4. The last trading day's lowest selling price for BBB stock was 31 pesos and 40 centavos. Stock is the three letter trade symbol for the company. Div or DIV is the dividend per share from the previous year. Example 5. Last year, BBB stock paid a dividend of 25 centavos per share. VOL or VOL represents the number of shares traded in the previous trading day in hundreds. Example 6. Stock AAA sold 2,100 shares of 100, resulting in a total of 210,000 shares sold. Close is the last trading day's closing price. Example 7. The closing price of AAA stock in the last trading day was 55 pesos and 81 centavos. Net CHG, the net change, is the difference between the two most recent trade days. The net change in the case of AAA stock is 0.11. Example 8. The day before the last trading day's closing price is 55 pesos and 81 centavos minus 11 centavos equals 55 pesos and 70 centavos. Those with accounts in internet trading platforms may come across a table like the one beside me when buying or selling stocks.
bid size is the number of individual buy orders and the overall number of shares desired. Bid price is the amount of money purchasers are willing to pay for a stock. Ask price is the price at which stock dealers are willing to sell their stock. Ask size refers to the overall number of shares that these sellers desire to sell as well as the number of individual sell orders that have been made on the online platform. Example 9. The first row under bid indicates that there are 110 traders interested in purchasing 346,000 shares at 20 pesos and 45 centavos per share. The first row under ask indicates that two traders are willing to sell their 19,000 shares at 20 pesos and 60 centavos per share. So much about stock market indices. This time, let's talk about bond market indices. A bond market index is a measure that represents a segment of the bond market. The Philippine Dealing and Exchange Corporation is the country's primary platform for bonds and fixed income instruments, or PDEX. Bond market indices are significantly less prevalent than stock market indices, which are connected with practically every stock market in the world. Instead, the bonds market or market's market rates are interest rates that can be used as benchmarks for other financial instruments. Investing in bonds is regarded to be safer than investing in stocks, although there is still some risk involved. Thus, bond investors should be informed of the bond's issuer's financial situation as well as current market conditions. So I hope you have learned a lot about market indices for stocks and bonds. Until next time!